Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, On the Avenue with Shelly. Today I'm going to be making hamburger stroganoff. It's pretty easy to make and it's one of my family's favorites, so I wanted to share it with you. Uh, the first thing that we have is a pound of ground beef. I have four cloves of garlic and I peeled the other three already and I wanted to show you how to get rid of the paper on it in case you weren't aware that it had a paper layer on it. <laughs> so you just peel it back. Oh, there we go. See how it's got the skin on it? You just wanna peel that off. And then I'm going to add those to my pan. I am going to break them also so that the flavor gets in there better. Um, I also have a can of pieces and stems mushrooms. And it's a 6.5 ounce can. You can use fresh mushrooms also. You just put them into slices or cut them into slices. Um, I just keep cans of the mushrooms so that I don't have to worry about not having the ingredients when I go to make this. So first what we're going to do is mix fry this all together. Like I said, I am going to break my um, garlic so that all the flavors get mixed in there. Okay, so my hamburger is brown. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the grease out and then take out the pieces of garlic. And you could use minced garlic also in this recipe, and I would use about a tablespoon and a half of that. And that you don't have to remove, so that is a little simpler um, if you want to try that instead. So I'm gonna drain this and I'll be back. Okay, so I've drained the grease and remove the pieces of garlic. Uh, the other things that you are gonna want for this recipe is two cups of beef broth, a 16 ounce container of sour cream, and then um, flour and egg noodles. And I just make the beef broth myself out of the two cups of water and then I just add the beef bouillon. To that. One ingredient I forgot to mention is the Worcestershire sauce, which I'm probably saying wrong, but um, you need two teaspoons of that, and I just add that in with my beef broth. Um, this is the beef broth, and like I mentioned, I just use two cups of water and then mix my own beef bouillon in there. I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling my egg noodles and I'm gonna use the whole package. Um, there's four of us eating this evening, so that should be plenty for us four. Back to the hamburger and mushroom mixture. I am going to add three tablespoons of flour. And this is just gonna help thicken up your broth later. Mix that in real good. Now I'm gonna add my um, two cups of beef broth with the Worcestershire sauce in it. To there. And we're gonna cook this for a little bit. Okay, so I've brought this to a boil and we're just gonna keep cooking it to let it thicken up. So we're just adding our three-fourths a cup of sour cream now. It's been about seven minutes I've been boiling this on high and stirring it while I'm boiling it. Okay, I got that in there now. After I added the sour cream, I just stirred the sour cream in. Then I uh, reduced the heat to medium and cooked it for about five more minutes. I've drained my egg noodles and I'm just gonna add them straight to the pan. Uh, to me, it adds a little more thickness to it and I just prefer it that way. 
you could serve the noodles and then serve the sauce over the noodles, whatever your preference is. And then you're just gonna want to add salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so we've put the noodles in and mixed them all together. And now you're just gonna wanna add your salt and pepper and you would just add that to taste. So however much salt and pepper you like in your food, that's how much you wanna add to this. There it is. Here is the finished product and it is delicious. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.